Hello people and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my first impressions of God's Grave by J. Christoph. And this is one of my most anticipated books of the year. It was up there with Who's Afraid To, uh, uh, Dracora by Lynette Noni, and this. But these were the three that I was like, I need to get my hands on these first a week. And I went to the launch and I have a vlog which I'll link up here in, in the description. And it's just been awesome getting to sink my teeth into God's Grave. Now if you don't know what God's Grave is, it's the second book in the Nevernight Chronicle. Now if you don't know what Nevernight is, who are you and is this the first time to my channel? Because I rave about Nevernight on every other video. It is like one of my most favourite books ever and it follows this assassin called Mia Corvair as she plans to kill the people who hanged her father for rebelling against the system. It's very, very, very witty, very snarky, and I love Mia as a main character. And Gore Graves picks up when Nevernight ends. And I love it. Now, I will say that I'm going to talk about new characters, but I'm not going to spoil anything because it's so cool. Like within the first 15 pages, I was like, I miss the narrator so much. And this book has footnotes. And like, I was like, I need more of my footnotes because the narrator gets all snarky and quippy in the footnotes. And it's just the best thing ever. And I love it so much. Not only do we get the return of the narrator, we get the return of Mr. Kindly and Mia. And just, I miss these characters so much that anything was welcome like even in like the prologue bit of it it's like it's like same book one first sentence it's like nothing stinks quite like a corpse and I was just taken back to that first line of Nevernight where it's like people don't know this but people often shit themselves when they die I was like I've been taken back I love it so much so we follow Mia as she goes to this sort of gladiator ring and I'm so, so reminded of like the movies that I've seen like Pompeii and all that. Just like the way that Jay is describing these buildings. I just have an image of them in my head and it's just based off of the movies and just like built up around it. And I am so, it is so good. Oh my god. Like there is one scene in like book one, part, part one of this book. And I am just taken back to like this scene in Pompeii and it's just the most epic thing ever. Alright? I am never, ever, ever, ever going to forget this scene in this book where it's just like this massive... Oh, I can't even describe it because it was so good. Um, I love all the detail that has gone into this. I love Jay's writing. He is so good at what he does. And he is so, like, I, I'm so, like, I'm up to book two in, like, part two of this book. And it's, I'm on a page 169, and I'm just, it's getting to this point where I'm realising why I love Jay's writing so much. And it's because it just gets to you. His sarcasm, his wit, just drives you home, and it's not, oh, it's, it's not like it's like a um, thing where like the rank's so good that it's just you just get melted into it. It's like you sink into the story and it's like you're right there. Like the amount of detail Jay goes into this, it's just like it's like you're sitting in the seat and you're watching everything play out and it's just so good. I cannot wait to finish this because I think it's going to be one of my top three books of the year. And finally, before I go, look at this cover, you guys. Holy slay me entirely. I don't know what the relevance of the bear is yet. I'm trying to analyze the cover and it's like Mr. Kindly and then this for the gladiators and it's just, it's, and like even this bit here, I was like, yes. Like I sat in the front row at his launch and I was just like flipping over the book and like feeling it and just being like, yes. And like I opened up the book to just like a random page at page 36 and I read a sentence and I'm like, what the frig? And then I read it and it makes sense. Like I read from the start up to that and it made sense. I was like, you genius, you Jay. So that is my first impressions of God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I am so happy that I have this in my hands and I am savoring it because 
I, it's, I can't really describe it, but it just, there's something about this book and this series that just gets me in the feels and I love it so much and I am just, oh, I'm so happy. Oh my god. So, if you want to know more about the first book, Nemonite, I do have a first impressions and a review, so I'll leave those linked everywhere. I will also leave links to where you can buy God's Grave in this edition and the first book in this edition because these editions are beautiful and the US ones are beautiful too but just thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you all have a fabulous day Bye.